In this video, we will review how to set up deferred revenue types and also how to add deferred revenue schedules using three different methods. To set up or review deferred revenue types, navigate to Club Management, Installment Billing, Deferred Revenue Recognition, and Deferred Revenue Types. Use this program to define your deferred revenue types and their GL allocations for use in the Recognized Deferred Revenue Program. Start by selecting your club, and click Add a new Deferred Revenue Type. Let's take a look at our existing one for example. Go ahead and add a code for your revenue type with a max of 5 characters as well as a description. Use these fields to set the GL integration that will post when the recognized Deferred Revenue program is posted. For the on initial sign up GL fields, these debit and credit integrations are usually balance sheet accounts setting up the debiting of some deferred revenue account and crediting both a short term in the first year and a long term greater than a year deferral accounts. For the when recognized GL fields, this draws down the outstanding long term receivable and recognizes a portion of its revenue. The debit deferral long term and credit deferral revenue pair of integrations do the drawing down of the long term receivables and deferred revenue accounts. The edit log button allows you to view edit log details for this program. Double clicking on a line will produce further details and you can optionally print this information. Once you've completed your setup, click OK to save. Now that we have our deferred revenue type set up, we can set up deferred revenue schedules. There are three options to choose from. The first option allows you to set a deferred revenue schedule for an individual member. Select your club, as well as the desired member. Enter the total amount to be deferred. This will be posted on the Debit Deferral Revenue GL in the On Initial Setup section of the Deferred Revenue Types program. Select the date of record for the first posting to be made to the GL. This day of the month will also be used to set the posting dates for all further deferral postings. Enter the number of postings to be made. This field works with the Posting Frequency field to determine the number and dates to be posted in the grid. Use the Posting Frequency drop-down to select how often posting should take place. Use the load button to load the grid section with all the detailed posting lines determined by the configuration settings above. Changes to any of these variables will cause the grid to be refreshed with new results. Any of the lines in the grid may be changed. If adjusting an amount, ensure all amounts to be posted add up to the deferred amount figure. If the amounts do not add up to the deferred amount figure, the entry totals will appear in red. The calculation will be as follows. Click OK to save without posting. Click Preview to preview the deferred revenue posting report. You will then be asked if you would like to post edit, or cancel. Once you post, you will be provided the opportunity to view or print the finalized deferred revenue posting report. Note that the preview and post buttons will not be available after a posting has been made. You can still make adjustments to the grid and click OK to save your changes. But if you need to change any of the configuration settings at the top of the window, you will have to delete the schedule and create a new one. Another schedule option is to upload schedules for multiple members by using the Upload Deferred Revenue Schedule program. Use the Specs button to view the file layout details. Here is an example of a file. To process the upload, select your club and set your upload option. It is recommended to use preview for checking or error scan only prior to updating the files. Specify the upload file in the file name field. Enter a date of record and double click on the starting row in your document. Then go ahead and click OK to process. Then view or print as required. If everything looks good, Go ahead and switch your option to update files and click OK to process. 
Lastly, you can upload deferred revenue schedules with flexible amounts for multiple members by using the Upload Deferred Revenue Schedule Flexible Amounts program. This program works the same as the Upload Deferred Revenue Schedule program. However, the difference is when you click on the Specs button, the file layout requires a few more details. Here is an example of a file. The file will contain a header record, which is the H line, and detailed records, which are the D lines. This allows your club to upload different amounts to be deferred on different dates instead of all the same amount. After configuring the options and double clicking on your starting row, go ahead and click OK to process. Then view or print your report. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.